it's a high time to buckle down. You know, repent and pray and beg for mercy from your how by Shema Habasha. You know, because this thing is really about to roll out. And it's only getting closer and closer. You see, the reality is about to shift here in America and all across the world. You know, call Allah Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahakwadash, the Bahanusai teachers, the apostles, and the other bishops of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the 144,000 the elect men of the nation of Israel that's teaching their truth, sincerity, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, giving one through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, of the impending dangers that said to come to America, Babylon, and the Great. Lord willing, this lesson may be edifying and straight to the point. And let the Lord say, pray without ceasing, man. You see, because we coming up on that time of that great hour of temptation, but we all going to be tested. You see, tested for our faith, our integrity, our fidelity. You know, is we really standing for the Lord or not? Because there's only two sides you can choose. Either you're going to choose Esau, Edom, or you're going to choose Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh by Shah. Like the Lord say, uh, you can't serve God and mammon. You know, and that choice is going to be made when that CBDC digital uh, ID is rolled out. You know, the RFID CHIP technology. You know, I'm just going to play this quick video. To you. The program targets the birth of new babies. So once you have your baby, before your baby leaves the hospital, you no longer get a paper birth certificate, but then you get a digital one that is somehow implanted somewhere on somebody's body. Think about that, but have a listen to this. Um, the digital ID, which has been a big problem to us for a very long time, is now on a testing mode for the next two months, I have been assured by all the stakeholders, led by the ministries concerned, that by December, we will be able to launch digital ID, where every Kenyan don't have to carry any paper, plastic or otherwise, as an ID that they should be able to be identified digitally using their iris, or their fingerprints, and we can transact without the necessity of people struggling to identify who they are. And um... see, and this is where we hate it, man. Our roads is leading to the MOTB, the mark of the beast, which we've been taught here at Great Millstone through the apostles, you know, ultimately apostles to her. That, the, uh, that technology is the mark of the beast, man, that they're going to try to uh, implant in you, you know, for you to continue on in these societies, you know, across the world, man. You know, buying and selling, participating, you're going to have to have some digital, some digital, uh, you know, technology implanted inside you, man. And people think it's a game. You know, we got these camps out here that's teaching that it's spiritual, but this is a physical thing. It's about to come into the planet Earth. You know, that's for to really come on the scene, man. And those who don't have it, you're going to be x out the society, man. And that's that great hour of temptation that's going to come down. The Lord is going to try every man upon planet Earth, man. You see? And we begging, Yahweh Bashim, I was that he keep us in this hour of temptation so that, you know, he don't put it in our minds, you know, for us to go down there and take it. Because man, goings is of the Lord, man. You know? People don't know what they're going to do in that day. We just praying and hoping that the Lord keep us strong and keep us away, you know, from that temptation, man. You see real quick. This is Revelations chapter 3 and verse 10. It says, because thou hast kept the words of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them. That dwell upon earth, you see, real quick, you go into that word temptation. Strong's G3986. It says an experiment, attempt, trial, uh, proven. You see, this is a proven trial, man, to see if you really for the Lord or not. It says the trial made of you by bodily condition, since conditions serve as a test 
the love of the Galatians towards Paul, it says the trial of a man's fidelity, integrity, virtue, uh, constancy. You see, this is a trial for your fidelity, man, your faith towards your how about Shemi Abishai. Faithfulness to a person, cause or belief discriminated by continuing loyalty and support. Because you're going to continue to be loyal to your how about Shemi Abishai once you get exed out of society. And because the law even tell you uh, in evils, you know, be as pilgrims upon the earth, man. It's going to come a time when you're going to have to move like a pilgrim. You see, because you ain't going to be able to survive or, you know, the regular way like we do now. You know, we work, we make money, we pay bills, put gas in the car, go to the grocery store, buy food and things like that. With, with this money, you know, we get this fiat currency. But Esau Eden for to do away with that and everything is about to go digital. And the only way for you to spend your digital bucks, you know, your universal income, is for you to have that 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 device in you, man. That RFID CHIP technology. You see? And this is fit to be a trail from your how about you, man. I was trying to see who's really formed and who's not. Like uh Apostle Gabal often say, you know, this is the this is the uh the ultimate sifting test, man. You know. So this is what this is what's fit to come down. Upon planet Earth, the ultimate right hand, America, Babylon, the Great, and a lot of these two thirds is going to line up and get it because they're not going to be able to withstand because they don't have your how about Hashem Yahushua in their inward parts, man. They they don't have the words of the Lord because they taking things for a joke. Everybody taking things for a joke, but shit gonna get real one day, man. It's gonna get real out here, man. You know, it says adversity. You see, adversity, affliction, trouble. Sent by the Most High as serving to test or prove one's character, faith, and holiness, man. You see? So this is what's coming upon planet Earth. And this is what the Lord is using to test and see who's form and who's not, man. You know, real quick. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 102. In verse 13, it says, Thou shalt arise. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yeah, the, the, the set time is come. You see? Yeah, that set time is come, man. Well, the Lord, hey, the Lord, he's going to come in on our behalf. Lord willing, we are that precious number. But you just got to know in these times, in these evil times, you have to wait upon your how about Hashem Yahweh The Lord said that it's good for a man to wait upon him, man. The trust and hope in him because the Lord is going to come through. The Lord is not, he don't operate like niggas here in the world do. Where they renege, you don't know. If the Lord say he's going to do it, the Lord is going to do it. The Lord said uh, he's not a man that he should lie. So if the Lord tell you to wait on him, then he surely is going to come through for you. Real quick, let me show you. This is the book of Lamentations chapter 3 and verse uh, 25. It says... The Lord is good unto them that wait for him. To the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of Yahweh. You see? So this is the season that we coming into, man. Things is about to get hard here in the planet Earth, man. You see, especially for the elect. But, hey, the Lord got us, man. Lord, we're about that precious number. You know, and the Lord is going to protect his elect, man. The Lord will tell you how he has care for his elect, man. You know, so the Lord is going to care for us in that day when this thing ultimately get rolled out because it's going to be mandated. It's going to become a law, you see, that you have to get this device in order to participate in this society, man. You know, but this, hey, this is where we at. That vision that was there for an appointed time, hey, it's going to speak louder and louder as we get closer and closer to the end. We grab that Habakkuk 2 in verse 3. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Yeah, we ate that appointed time. You see, it's only going to get closer and closer. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Yeah, because everybody don't want to believe that the mark of the beast is a physical device, man. It's something physical that the so-called white man, Esau, even the devil, is going to try to implant inside you. They think it's some spiritual. You think about it, and then you act it out with your right hand. No, man. 
That's not what the Lord is talking about. This is a physical device. Either you're going to take it in your in your forehead or you're going to take it in your in your right hand, man. You see? Yeah, the vision is just for an appointed time. And at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And once it take place, you're going to know that our prophet was amongst you, man. That GMS, starting with Apostle Tahar. On down to the uh, rest of the apostles and the elders and the bishops had it right the whole time, man. Even the affiliate accounts that continue in the apostles' doctrine had it right the whole time. You see? But people going to find out the hard way you didn't have faith in it. So when it ultimately come to pass, you, you're going to be driven to go down there and take it, man. The Lord is going to put it in your mind and go take it. Because you weren't praying against it. You weren't praying that your how about you, man, which I keep you from it. You were saying it was spiritual, man. You know, things is going to heat up, man. You see? It's going to get more and more and more intense here in the planet Earth, man. The Lord said evils and only evils behold is come. You know? So I will tell you, that's why I open up by saying, hey, uh, it's a high time to, you know, buckle down, man. You know, pray without ceasing. You see, real quick, I'm going to grab that. And it's just so quick, you know. Spirit and power, Yahweh, by Shema, was shy. Lord willing, it's edifying. First Thessalonians 5 and verse. Start at verse uh, 16. Salaki. Verse 16, it says, Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. And everything give thanks. For this is the will of the Most High. And Hamashiach, Yahweh, shy, concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesying. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. And what's that, man? This this word, man. You see this? Highlight all this spirit. No, highlight down to 21. Matter of fact, 22. You see? Yeah, don't quench the spirit. Despise not prophesying because ultimately this is how we shed light on these things through prophecy. And prophecy is to pretty much say before. So we're telling you these things before they actually take place. You see, despise not prophesying. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. And this ultimately this word. Abstain from all appearance of evil. You have to come out of the ways of America, Babylon the Great, man. You see? It says, in the very, in the very power of peace, sanctify you holy. And I pray the most high. Uh, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless. Until the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. You see that? So, amen. Pray without ceasing. You know, abstain from evil and prove all things. Holding fast that which is good. And this ultimately this word, man. Hold fast to Yahweh Bashim HaMashiach. And don't let him go, man. Like Jacob, man. He ain't let that angel go until he blessed him. You see? And yeah, man. We just looking to be kept here in these latter ends, man. Because Esau Edom is about to roll out. That CBDC tell you that he's about to come down having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time. You see, he has a short time left to rule, so he's going to take his last blow, and that's to ultimately get you chipped, man. You know, so you got to have that whole armor on. The Lord said, put on the whole armor, you know, uh, so that you may be able to uh, withstand against the wiles of the devil. Where's that Ephesians, the sixth chapter? I'm going to grab that real quick. I ain't trying to make this too long. Ephesians 6 and verse uh, verse 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Man, you got to be strong, man. Even coming to a time where we want to have to be strong. Pray for strength, man. You see? And then and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of the most high, which is this truth in this entirety, man. Eat the whole robe. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You see? Because he's going to come with trickery, man. He's going to paint the picture as if this is just some harmless, you know, this is just technology, you know, advancing. We're coming into a new age, you know, with all the paper and all the you carrying cards and IDs and Social Security cards. That's going to be a thing in the past. We're going to make it more easier for you where you can just get scanned and all your information pop up. No, man, that's a snare, man. He already got the bitch cash doll. I did a lesson on her. But she's walking around scanning. She's promoting. She's scanning the head. You got the chip girl promoting. You had the girl in the army with the chip in the, uh, in the wrist at the Whole Foods paying for things. The promotion is out there. 
in which he's already desensitizing you to it. So when they come to pass, you will just be fully for it, man. And that's all the wiles of the devil. You see? So Esau Eden, he's coming with it, man. You know, of course, I'm going to close out with it. Revelation, the 13th chapter. Verse 16, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. Yeah, the karagma in their right hand or in their forehead. Yeah, because you have, you know, Bill Gates coming with that, that thing to put in your right hand and Elon Musk with his Neuralink. He coming to put it in your uh in your forehead, man. You know, you got the digital ID company, you got the Wally World company, you got the Neuralink company, you got all sorts of companies out there that's promoting uh, uh building those CHIPs to put it inside that implant inside your people. You see? And it's ultimately the mark of the beast. It says, and that no man may buy or sell, save he that had the, the karagma or the name of the beast or the number of his name in which he was going into how uh, it's going to have all your, it's going to store all your information where it goes into the word grapho. You see, because when you go into the word uh, mark, and we do this all the time, it takes you to Strong's G5480 karagma, which is that imprinted mark you know, a stamp of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand, which is going to be implanted as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. Go down to the strong definition. It says a badge of servitude because that's what it's going to be. This is how you're going to pledge your allegiance to Esau Edom or wherever you at in the world, you know, to the to the their B system, their government, man, that's going to be uh, passing these things out, man. You know, it says right here in the Greek lexicon, a stamp and imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as a badge of the followers of the Antichrist. You see, you go into the root word, it goes into Karox. You see, in which this is the device they're going to use to stick you with it, man. Stick it inside you to implant that thing inside you. You see, it says sharp to the point, you know. Then you go from there to Strong's G1125. This goes into Grapho, and this is where your information you know, it's going to have all your information. It, see, the D definition to give information and directions because it's ultimately going to be a tracking system, too. But you see, it's going to have to express and rent characters. You see, it's going to have all your information on that, man. You're not going to have to have any uh, paper IDs or social securities or none of that, man. You see, it says describe to describe. You see? It's going to have your information on it. As the guy said, it's going to store all your information. So this is the Karabma. This is the mark of the beast that's spoken of in Revelation, the 13th chapter, that these governments is going to come through, uh, come with to implant inside your people. And we ultimately set to give warning of these things before they take place. You see, but Lord willing, you was edified, giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash. Lord willing, to this video. Shalom.